Salam, dear brothers and sisters. We're delighted to have you join us today. Let's delve into the 12 principles that Islam teaches us about maintaining privacy. 1. Charitable acts while promoting good deeds is commendable. Blessing about our charitable contributions risks inflating our egos and undermining the sincerity of our intentions. Allah reminds us in Surat al-Baqarah 264 not to nullify our acts of charity with reminders or harem. 2. Family conflicts. It's essential to keep family matters within the family circle. Publicizing family disputes can tarnish relationships and bring dishonor. Preserving family unity and insulting trusted individuals when needed is vital. 3. Sins and Mistakes Concealing our sins and avoiding publicizing our mistakes is integral to seeking repentance and safeguarding our dignity. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of discretion in dealing with personal faults. 4. Privacy of others. Respecting the privacy of others is a corn. First tone of Islamic ethics. The Quran admonishes against spying on fellow believers, emphasizing the sanctity of personal boundaries. 5. Others' faults and weaknesses, gossiping or spreading rumors about others' shortcomings, is strongly discouraged in Islam. We are urged to focus on self-improvement and offer sincere advice with compassion and discretion. 6. Private Conversations Upholding the confidentiality of private conversations demonstrates integrity and respect the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught that part of one's faith is refraining from discussing matters that do not concern us. 7. Health Issues Disclosing Personal Health Matters should be reserved for seeking professional or trusted guidance, preserving one's dignity, and seeking treatment discreetly aligns with the Islamic teachings. 8. Secrets entrusted to us. Keeping entrusted secrets is a testament to our trustworthiness and integrity. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of maintaining confidentiality to foster trust and respect. 9. One's good deeds. Flaunting one's good deeds for public recognition diminishes their spiritual value. True acts of worship should be performed sincerely for the sake of Allah, not for worldly praise. 10. Financial status. Modesty and wealth and spending is encouraged in Islam, revealing one's financial status beyond. Necessity risks fostering envy and discord. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, exemplified humility in matters of wealth. 11. Personal relationships. Intimate details of relationships should be kept private and respected. Spousal matters, in particular, should be handled discreetly fostering trust and tranquility within the family unit. 12. Personal space and boundaries. Respecting physical and emotional boundaries demonstrates consideration and courtesy. Seeking consent before entering personal spaces or discussing sensitive topics aligns with the Islamic values of respect and dignity as we strive to uphold these principles. May Allah guide us on the path of righteousness. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards spiritual growth and enlightenment. May these teachings draw us closer to Allah and enrich our lives with wisdom and grace. Stay tuned for more insights into Islam and opportunities for spiritual reflection. Stay blessed, fellow Muslims.